Hello and welcome to five essential GCSE maths calculator skills you need to know. I'm going to be completing this on a Casio Classwiz FX85 GTX calculator, but it's still going to be relevant for you if you have its predecessor, the FX85 or 83 GT Plus. If you've got one of those, these are going to be totally relevant to you as well. And also if you have this version of Classwiz's big brother, the Casio FX991EX, these are going to be relevant to you as well, and maybe some other models of Calculator 2. So let's get started with the first of the five. So the first of the five essential GCSE Maths Calculator skills that you need to know is how to use the fact function, which displays a number as a product of its prime factors. So let's say we have a number, 220. Let's input that and press equals to make it our answer. And then if we press shift and then this button here to get fact, then it will display it as a product of its prime factors. So in this case, two squared times five times 11. It's also useful if you need to check if a number is prime. So let's take a number like 71. If you're not quite sure if it is prime or not, let's input that, press equals and make it our answer. If we do shift and fact and it doesn't change like this one, then it's going to be prime. So we know 71 is a prime number. The second of the essential GCSE maths calculator skills is the secret hack for finding the highest common factor and least common multiple using the fraction button. So let's say we wanted to find the highest common factor between these two numbers, 20 and 28. If we make a fraction out of them, 20 over 28 and press equals, that simplified it to 5 sevenths. All we've got to think about is, well, what would we divide 20 by to get 5? Or essentially, we can just divide 20 by 5. Well, that gives us 4. Same with 28. 28 divided by 7 gives us 4. The highest common factor is 4. The calculator uses the highest common factor to simplify the fraction. So the highest common factor is 4. What you need to do now, flip that the other way around so that it's 7 fifths. And then if we multiplied either 20 by the top 7, that would give us 140. Or the bottom 28 by 5, that would give us 140. 140 is the lowest common multiple. So a sneaky hack using the fraction button. The third essential GCSE mass calculator skill that you need to know is how to input and display mixed numbers. If you want to input a mixed number, it's just shift and the fraction button. You can see here it's set up to input a mixed number, so we can input say two and two thirds. If we've got it in the default setting, this will then display it as an improper fraction for us. If you already have an improper fraction, such as 120, over 13 we can display this as a mixed number so just input that into the calculator and then it's shift and the SD button and that will display it as a mixed number for us there 9 and 3 thirteenths. The fourth of the essential GCSE mass calculator skills that you need to know is how to use the degrees minutes and seconds button to do time calculations let's take a look at the question Jenny travels 240 miles back home at an average speed of 52 miles per hour. If she sets off at 9am, what time does she reach home? Give your answer to the nearest minute. We do need to do a calculation first. We should know that time is given by distance divided by speed. So our distance is 240, our speed is 52. And that gives us this as a fraction in the first instance. Let's just take a look at that as a decimal. So this is actually our time in hours, but what does 4.615384 recurring even mean? But there's a handy button that we can use to be able to find out the time when she arrived back home. So she started off at 9 a.m. So we need to input 9, press the button, that means 9 hours, plus our answer in hours. Press equals and here's the time that she would have arrived at home. 13.36, that's 1.36 p.m. and 55.38 seconds. We want that to the nearest minute, so that's 13.37 or 1.37 p.m. The fifth essential GCSE maths calculator skill that you need to know is the percentage button. Say we wanted to quickly work out what 3 eighths was as a percentage. We input 3 eighths, but before we press equals, we just need to put a percentage next to the denominator. So on the model of Classwiz, it's shift and ants. On the previous model, perhaps you're doing it on the previous generation of calculators, it's shift and left bracket. So just look out for that. So three over eight with a percentage equals, 
and we'll just change that to a decimal, it's 37.5%. We can also use it with compound interest questions. Let's take a look at the question. Andy invests £2,000 in an account that receives 3% compound interest for the first three years and 3.5% for every year after the first three. How much will his investment be worth after five years? So we've got three years at 3% and then what will be two years to make a total of five at 3.5%. Let's use the percentage button to help us out. So we start off with 2000 times, then he's got 100% plus 3%, that's 103%. So let's input the percentage next to that for three years. So that's to the power of three. Multiply by 103.5%. Don't forget to put the percentage in there. Squared, so to the power of two, because that's for two years. And let's press equals, let the calculator do all the work for us. Here is the value of his investment after five years, £2,341.11. So there we go, five essential GCSE maths calculator skills that you now know and can take with you into the exam. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.